Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show and today's episode we're going to talk about uh, the use of finasteride and we're going to give you an example uh, with identical twins so stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hey, and welcome back to the show. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm really excited about uh, today's episode because I kind of geek out about uh, things like this and, and uh, we rarely get an opportunity to, uh, to demonstrate uh, something like this. So we've talked a lot on the channel about male pattern hair loss and we've gone through what the causes of uh, male pattern hair loss and it's a genetic cause. Basically you inherit one set of genes from your mother's side of the family, one set of genes from your father's side of the family. And then what happens is there's a hormonal component as well and we've gone through that uh, extensively. You have a hormone in your body called testosterone and you, get, you convert that uh, hormone into another form of that testosterone called dihydrotestosterone or DHT. And there's an enzyme called the 5-alpha reductase enzyme that uh, causes that conversion. And that's important because when we look at medical therapy uh, for male pattern hair loss, one of the things we look at is a medicine called finasteride. And what does finasteride do? Well, finasteride blocks uh, this enzyme, the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. If you block that enzyme, you block the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone and you essentially lower that in the system. And so I have had this conversation a multitude of times and I certainly have this conversation when I'm in clinic all the time. And it, because we talk about the various forces at play. There's the hormonal component as well, which we can try and control with finasteride. And there's the genetic component as well. And I was very excited recently because I'd actually met a patient um, who uh, has an identical twin brother. And the, the, the really interesting about uh, that is that because they're identical twins, they share the same genetic makeup. So they're both uh, uh, going to have, uh, they were both genetically predetermined to have male pattern hair loss and yes, true to form, they have both started to lose hair. But the interesting fact here, and I'm going to show these uh, pictures uh, in, in a second, is that one brother ended up being on finasteride later on in uh, life, whereas the other brother, a personal choice, decided not to take finasteride. And I was able to get um, photos uh, from, from this patient of both uh, himself and his brother and I'm very grateful uh, to this particular patient uh, for sharing uh, their photos and giving permission to do so and also to his brother uh, for, for that and I'm very very grateful for that. Uh, for that opportunity. So as we can see on uh, in this uh, picture we've got this gentleman who has been taking finasteride. He's got uh, the classical uh, signs of male pattern hair loss, the distribution of uh, hair loss in the upper part of the scalp and he uh, was experiencing that for many years, started on finasteride and that has able to stop the uh, progression of, of his hair loss and therefore he's been able to hold on to a fair amount of hair. And this is interesting because in comparison if we look at his identical twin brother and this is a brother that has also started to lose hair but has not been on uh, finasteride, we can see what the effects of the medication are. There's been a, a, there's a significant difference in the individual that has taken finasteride versus the brother that hasn't taken finasteride. So we were able to uh, compare in the same uh, genetic pool so to speak and see what the outcome uh, of that. Is it going to, are you going to have a full head of hair? No. Is it going to stop the hair loss completely? No. We know that there is no medication that is going to completely guarantee uh, stopping of your hair loss. We haven't found the cure for, for balding yet. But as you can see, this is an example and I'm really, you know, like I said, I really geek out about these things where we can demonstrate uh, in, in true reality uh, what the effect of finasteride is. Otherwise normally we're just talking hypothetically or oh, well if you take 
this medication, hopefully you won't lose uh, significantly more hair. So I hope you found that useful just as a, a, a pictorial representation of what we spend a lot of time talking about. But again, thanks again for watching. And once again, thank you very much uh, to, to my patient for uh, allowing us to, to share these uh, pictures with you. Thanks very much. Take care.